I'm Fergus Kennedy, a biologist and photographer. I've come to Komodo National Park in Indonesia. It's an incredible area. It's an archipelago of small and large islands, and almost all of them uninhabited, which means that it's fantastic for a range of flora and fauna. By day, sea eagles circle overhead, and the sea teems with an incredible array of fish. Whoa. Once night falls, it all changes, as thousands of flying foxes take to the skies to feed on the rich pickings of the larger islands. Unbelievable. You see things like this on television, but, but when you actually kind of witness it firsthand, it is quite amazing. But this extraordinary sight is just an appetizer. Tomorrow, I'm going in search of the island's most famous resident, the Komodo dragon. I think the challenges with shooting the Komodo dragon, um, first of all, are going to be finding them. Because although there are quite a few on the island, it's a large island and there's a lot of undergrowth for them to hide in. I'd heard there are some semi-wild dragons that live around the ranger's huts, but I didn't realise they'd made themselves quite so at home. It's not the image I had in mind, and even though these dragons are huge, it's hard to really feel the magic when they're hiding under a house. There seem to be a lot of Komodo dragons that hang around um, near the ranger station, but um, what I'd really like is to see them out in the wild, out in the forest. And so, with the help of one of the local rangers, I'm off to try and find a dragon. The Komodo dragon is a really large reptile and it's a predator. So they will basically eat anything they can grab and hold on to. So um, humans are definitely potentially on the menu. There have in fact been at least 29 recorded dragon attacks in the park and one only a few weeks before my visit. I really don't want to become number 30. It looks like people have decorated this tree with the skulls of some of the victims of uh, Komodo dragons. So we've got deer skulls and buffalo skulls. Um, interestingly, Komodo dragons tend to eat everything. They even crunch up the bones, but um, the skulls and the horns are usually a bit too much, much for them. So that's all you find. So yeah, quite exciting walking through these forests. And before long, we get our first signs of the dragons. Uh, something down there. A monkey. I think that noise that we're hearing is a uh, is a macaque uh, alarm call. There's a family of macaques just on the other side of the valley up there. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're making the racket, but yeah, it could be just because of us. Or well, there could be a Komodo dragon around, you never know. There obviously are Komodo dragons around here because this is another, this is a mark of a, of a tail. So that's a, we're on the right trail. But still no actual dragons. And with the sun high in the sky and very little shade, I'm starting to realize what the guide meant about the dragons lying low in the midday heat. <sighs> Hope we find some after all this. <laughs> The trees at the bottom of the valley provide welcome shade and some exotic local wildlife to photograph. But these animals aren't what I've been sweating for all day. I'm still determined to find a Komodo dragon. In crossing yet more of their tracks, they feel tantalizingly close. Our perseverance is finally paying off. We've got quite a large dragon on the move now. Quite exciting, it's in good sunlight, so um, hopefully get some nice shots here. 
amazing looking prehistoric beast that's coming right towards me now. Get ready to make a rapid move if I have to, but getting some nice shots. This is great. The type of shot I really like is the head-on shots where it's coming straight towards you, but I do have to try and anticipate a little bit where it's going and also not get too close. He seems to be having a good scratch on a tree now, which I haven't seen before. We have just found this um, lovely female Komodo dragon moving through the undergrowth steadily, going through grassy areas amongst the trees. Really exciting encounter. I'm, I'm really pleased that finally, after all this waiting and sweating up hills and stuff, we finally you know, found what we came for. Really happy with this lens I've been using. Um, 100 to 400 on the 5D Mark IV works really well. I've had the image stabilizer on. I've been using um, AI servo focus that's been tracking the Komodo dragons as they move towards me and it's worked pretty flawlessly actually. I'm very happy with that. This encounter is the perfect reward for all that hard work. But before I have to leave Komodo there's one more spot I want to check out. It could give us an excellent sunset, but we've got another long, hot hike on our hands before we reach what should be the perfect vantage point. This is a pretty epic spot. It's got to be one of the most amazing views I've ever seen. Pretty fantastic, really. Great end to an amazing day. I think coming to wild, rugged places like this really nourishes the soul. And the Komodo dragons themselves are kind of prehistoric and ancient. They look hard, they look tough. You know, we spend so much of our time in cities being comfortable. It's just great coming to places like this. Mm -hmm.